Woohoo! Hey everybody, Felicia Day here, and I've been traveling a lot the last couple weeks, and I came back to the office, and the Geek and Sundry staff have made a fan film about Star Wars to share with you guys uh, to celebrate May the 4th. It's awesome. Well, I haven't seen it yet. I, I'm sure it's awesome. <laughs> Here it is. What the f was that? Hey guys, guys, can you please explain what just happened to our viewers? What that was and why? <laughs> Even though Disney has announced that they're doing their own version of Star Wars, we really were looking at the, the IP and the love that the community has for this property. And we just realized, you know what, I think for, for our audience, we could really come up with something compelling, dynamic, and just overall amazing. It's a really original take. And so I think when people see this come to life, they're going to be like, this is the Star Wars they never thought they'd see. And definitely not the Star Wars that Lucas could have ever given them. This Star Wars is a modern update um, to the beloved franchise. Obviously the budget was not as big as we would have hoped. It's a web series, um, so we can't flex our muscles as much as we can. However, we opted with lens flares are big right now. Uh, we really want to do a lot of underwater stuff. One of the best parts of The Phantom Menace, which is episode one, at least in my opinion, is all the underwater stuff. <laughs> We've got some really stellar performances coming out there. I think people are going to be really happy with what we're seeing. Uh, we have some really emotional scenes. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but one of our favorite characters gets in a, a pretty heavy situation and it's something worth watching. I think it's going to get some streamies. I was in a space helmet and I kept running out of air, but I tried to channel the feeling of claustrophobia and um, lack of oxygen into the death to make it as uh, authentic as possible. There were definitely a few times where I started seeing spots and blacking out and it was a little scary. Well, you see, when you're an actor of my, uh, caliber, you don't really have any challenges. You just experience the whole thing. I'm ready! Can you put a shirt on, please? Mmm, not feeling it. To be honest, I, uh, didn't even know it was a classic role. I, I really wanted to give this villain, um, give him a, a sense of emotion. I wanted the audience to connect with him and I really wanted them to to drive up these deep-seated, maybe something that they've been hiding or suppressing. I wanted all those emotions to just bubble to the surface and I wanted them to get the full experience of who this man is. So I had originally uh, auditioned for one of the roles. Um, fortunately, I didn't get it, but they did notice on my special skills, on my resume, I had listed cooking. So they asked me to do craft services. I found this awesome, it's a Millennium Falcon ice cube tray. Let's see, it comes out. I don't even know what to say. Oh, yeah, I know what to say. I'm not going to be traveling anymore again. Unsupervised people filming things. It's not good. May the force be with you. <laughs>